Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, yep, as soon as I start making a video, dogs just start barking. It's amazing. Anyway, I uh, I was actually going to make a video uh, because uh, in my last few videos I've been talking about this Red Odo uh, 12 volt 100 amp lithium ion battery. In, in one of the videos I talked about how it does not have a um, low temperature sensor. Uh, that means uh, once it gets below zero, you should not charge it because it does not know that it's too cold to charge and it could permanently damage the battery. Uh, but I started thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, I've got, I've got a charge controller that does have a temperature sensor that you can connect to it. And maybe I'll make a video on how that, that how you can use a charge controller to, uh, to work with your lithium ion battery that does not have low temperature cutoff. And, uh, and it, it'll be great. Well, after looking at this, and what it is, is it's, it's this Renogy Rover uh, 30 amp MPP charge controller. Um, and as you can see, I'm not sure if I can focus in, but it does have a temperature input uh, port right here and it came with a uh, you know a nine foot temperature sensor cord that you can plug right in and it has the little temperature sensor on there that you basically tape or attach to the battery and I thought it'd be really neat to show how this shuts off when it gets too cold uh, well then I started reading the manual and it turns out this does not have that capability even though it does have a temperature sensor, these are not made to keep the temperature for lithium ion batteries. What it says in the manual, and I will read it to you right now. It says, remote temperature sensor. This sensor measures the temperature at the battery and uses this data for very accurate temperature compensation. Now, how I read that is it's not looking to see if the temperature is too cold to charge the battery. What it's actually doing is if the battery is cold, it will actually bump up the voltage that is charging the battery a little bit because to compensate for the temperature, it's, it's pushing the voltage up a little bit when the battery is really cold and it will probably lower the, the charging voltage when the battery is very warm. Uh, it has nothing to do with shutting off the charging when the battery reaches a certain level. Uh, it says this sensor is supplied with a 9.8 foot cable link that connects to the charge controller. Simply connect the cable and adhere the sensor on top or on the side of the battery to record ambient temperature around the battery. That's all it does, is it records the temperature and then it will, it will compensate by giving it a little bit more voltage or a little bit less voltage depending on the temperature. And it says, note, do not use this sensor when charging lithium batteries. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is that even though this charge controller has a temperature sensor, don't just automatically assume that it's made for lithium ion phosphate batteries and that it will shut off the charging when it gets below zero. If you read more into the manual, you will actually see that the working temperature of this charge controller is negative 35 degrees Celsius all the way up to plus 45 degrees Celsius. So it's made for a wide range of temperatures. And I don't think that they would show that in the manual if the charging of this charge controller would stop when it hits zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it would have a large note in the manual as well saying, do not use this charge controller with lithium batteries under zero degrees. Because there's no reason for it to work if this 
temperature sensor is going to shut the whole unit down once it gets to zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. First, this video is going to be all about how it would be awesome to have a charge controller that will, uh, the charge controller will shut off because it has a temperature sensor. But it turns out this Renogy, it only has a temperature compensation sensor. So whenever you're looking at solar charge controllers, because this Renogy, this Renogy charge controller, it's really nice. It works great. It has really good efficiency. It can work with a whole bunch of battery types and battery chemistries. But make sure you read the fine print because I'm sure it just says that it, it comes with a temperature sensor. But you have to read the manual in order to really see what that temperature sensor does. Does it just compensate for sealed lead acid batteries or will it actually shut off uh, for lithium ion phosphate batteries when they reach zero degrees Celsius? So I just wanted to make a video to, to really drive that home. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And uh, if you like my content, uh, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.